condensers. Uh, the most questions, uh, and, and we've talked about these before, and and but but the question that comes up first in any conversation that that gets to be had about a Yco Ek Magneta is a condenser. It's the first question that comes up after magnetism. And and and, and the question is is uh, you know how come did I know about these condensers? And this condenser right here is a great example of why I know about condensers. And a few years ago, uh, there was an advertisement in Gas Engine magazine for a condenser. It happened to be for a Maytag engine that I was working on at the time. Uh, it was uh, the, the the standard condenser at the time would have been one of this kind here is what you would have got, but uh, th this was available, and I had ordered parts from that address before. I I'm not going to mention no names here, but this is the type of condenser it was. But it was a blue color. It was blue, a and I ordered one of them. When I got the condenser. You, do, do you see how that has been scraped? The the writing has been scraped away with a looks like a razor blade or exacto knife, and they scraped all the writing off of it. So as to when you got it, you wouldn't know what it was. You couldn't go to the store and get yourself one. I think they were about six dollars, if I remember, and that was a long time ago. So I ordered one and uh, used it, and it was okay. And um, so I decided, well, I need about 10 of them, you know. I was working on several engines at the time. And, and, and so I, I, called, I, called, I called the order in, and uh, I said, what about them condensers? I said, well, what is the, the microfad rating on those condensers? I said, what's a microfad rating? And uh, the reply was, it was kind of like, I said, hey, I, I said, well, now I'm going to order them condensers. There are about, about, say, 10 of them. But I do have a question. What's the microfad rating? The reply was, I have spent several years researching them condensers, and I found out that these, this voltage and rating was the correct one for this Maytag, and uh, then and, and 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 he says I do have other parts. I have a good selection of used parts. All oh, the the spill went on for five minutes, and the person never told me what the microfiber rating was. Okay, I went on ahead. I said okay. I said I'm not going to order them condensers right now. Then. I says uh, uh, let 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 me let me try my some ones I got on the shelf and and I'll call you back. So at at that at that minute at that minute in time where I was at in history the broad spectrum of life, it became a challenge for me to educate myself on condensers, which I did. Even even went to a couple of school classes, uh, read all the available literature, and I found out that uh, uh, there's not much not not much to them. T to make this short, uh, I I did find out exactly uh, that rating, and uh, uh, it, it, to the point where I went and bought a. Uh, a uh, a condenser test apparatus, two different ones, one of them to confirm the results of the other one, uh, used one and a new one, and, um, you know, voltage, the whole thing, you know. Uh, this kind of researched them way more than need be. But what I found out, getting back now, with all of that said, back to the EK Magneto, all of these, all of these examples right here, will work and function perfectly in an EK Magneto. These two right here happens to be original. That's the original EK and that's they do have different part numbers and there is a couple of microfad point 
microfad rating difference in the two. And this right here, that is this you will find this condenser quite often. I'm not sure it's uh, it was an old time replacement. I'm gonna show you something about that one. And this one right here, uh, that's one of the dealers has this one available. This is a dealer available, and uh, and this one, they, all of these are sold for EK Magnetos. And the bottom line is, if you get anything out of this whole thing, and read the description on some of these videos, there there is a little more stuff in the in the description. Please read the description and with that said all of these will work the only difference is the price range and and the question is well what's the part number on it well the the, the bottom line is is you don't need a part number something you don't need all you need to know is the voltage in and, and some reason they usually start these voltages on the higher ones at 630 volts and goes up. Uh, you know, like a thousand volts would be more better in these EK because some of them has seemed like a they the voltage on the well, it's a high voltage uh, uh, deal, and, and you can do some additional schooling for yourself, but uh, let the minimum on the condenser be 630 and then upwards uh, from that. The, uh, and the, and the microfad rating is, you know, a point something, uh, a good ballpark figure is like, say, point 15 microfads up to a point, oh, 27, you know, somewhere like in that, uh, you know, you'd, you'd be good to go. Uh, you can go higher on the point microfad ratings, but don't go any lower. Uh, uh, 15 is uh, is plenty low enough. Uh, 22, it gives you some uh, upper and lower tolerances to play with. But this one right here, I, I, I took this out of out of one of these EKs right here on the bench, and I was playing with it there, and I discovered something. See, when you pull that lead right there, it is fixed real tight. Okay, with this lead right here, when you pull that, it's not connected. Watch this. See that? It broke right. It was, it was not that rubber. See? Now this is a kind. See, it looked perfectly okay looking at it. But see, if I pull that off of there, it was soldered. It's got a solder, a little solder joint on it right there. And, but it's completely, it's completely broken in two. If you can see that, it was, it was broken in two. Okay. <laughs> that's the kind of things you will find that will cause you problems. That's enough about these condensers. Pretty much wore them out. Let's get on to something else now. <laughs>